on Earth. I just have to you're be not, faster than my feet. You're, you're not faster than me, dude. I'm fucking five and a half feet taller than you. What you are you talking about? Legs, I am. As long as, as, long as Mikey eats legs. before, yeah. he'll be fine. No, he'll forget to eat, and then he'll faint. <laughs> I'll break his legs, and then I'll be a lot faster than him. <laughs> yeah. His ass hair will be like, oh, you, you keep, keep calling me Tommy Ann? Watch this. Hit me with a black bat. Spinning heel kick. Boom. <laughs> There we go. Alright, it's live now. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I'm not oh. fat anymore. I haven't had nuts today. Oh. Have you had nuts and an avocado? <laughs> yeah, and that's avocado. Avocado. Oh, okay. uh, uh, um, are we live there? Sui Swa Swoon. Still haven't got the notification. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Pitten Podcast. My name is Skyrim. I am joined, as always, by Wayne, Mikey, and Brenna. Bum, 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 bum. Which were, the one thing we weren't supposed to talk about today was Wayne's late, right? So we're not going to talk about that. Wayne, where the fuck were you late? Um, I was dealing with children, um, collecting wine and uh, sundry other adult stuff that I have to do in my day. Sorry, can I, can I, I did, I did, apo- did apologise profusely to you all backstage, so mm-hmm. um, to try and bury me uh, now is a bit of a cuntish thing to do, so fuck you. Um, yeah, well, I would just like to say a big thank you so much to everyone who has been watching the show over the last year and a half. We, you, Your boys got monetized on Twitch, we have made affiliate, you guys have done it, we made it, we got all of our numbers, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now you can subscribe to us on the Twitch and Yay. and do and do bits and raid um, mm-hmm. all the Twitch things, all the Twitchy stuff. To quote one of our famous uh, listeners, "We goes where we goes." We goes where we goes. We goes where we goes. Are you talking about it, Big Driss listens to us? Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, all the time, mate. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's all Number over the. Fan. He usually is on the dis. He's more active on the Discord, you know. Yeah. So. Wait a second. Was he the tripping show? Holy shit! It was oh. big Driss. It was big Driss. It was big Driss Cumberbatch the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Solved it. <laughs> Solved it. <laughs> and as uh, as as Peter Falk would say, just one more thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, I I lost you there because I was trying to sign up on Twitch and then yeah, it just it all went to shit. Yeah. So that, that, that was a reference for the older viewer. That's a Columbo <laughs> reference for you children. Google it. Um. <laughs> so Wayne, uh, I called you out on Dig on America yesterday or did, yeah yesterday. Yeah, yeah, well, it would have been this morning for me. Right, the time zones. Um, but pretty much, <laughs> if you guys are not aware, me and Wayne are in a fitness off. We're going to see who can be the fittest the fastest. And I want to... I, 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 I thought you said the fattest the fastest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see? Communication. Accents. <laughs> d- yes. Dialects. You know, you you know it's hard to... <laughs> Petrol gasoline again. Like <laughs> you're, you're, you're sitting there with your protein. I'm here with my pizza. <laughs> Speaking of pizza, probably should have had one this morning. Went over to hang out with the big homie, Big Haas, and we're doing like a little paperwork. I'm doing like my assessment, and I'm doing the push-ups, and I'm like, ah, oh, that wasn't great. I do the sit-ups, ah, oh, that wasn't great. And I got to do like some some squats. That wasn't too bad. But then I had to like drop down, kick your legs out, kick them back in, stand up, duh, duh, duh. Bur- it's a, called a burpee. burpee. Yeah, burpees. Burpees. And I'm just, he said something to me, and I'm like, man, this music must be really loud. Man, my vision is start. I didn't eat fucking breakfast. I'm fucking, I'm about to fucking pass out. And I just fucking like lean over on something. I was like, yeah, I'm having a... Having a bit of some uh, trouble here, so uh, <laughs> he's like, "No, no, no, sit down, sit down, sit down." I'm like, "Yo, get me over 
my grass is real hot. It's just, you know, hot. It's so hot in here. And I just stood there staring off at a tree for 20 minutes <laughs> until my body recovered because I forgot to eat. Yeah. It's not, it's not fun. It's not fun. When, when you, when you go into like a, a, a very light fitness regime, when you've not done anything for a long time, it, it's murder. It fucks with you. It's it murder. Fucks with you. I was, I was sick when I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. went to, um, um, my, my personal trainer, John Lothar, um, who is, uh, an established bodybuilding competitor. <laughs> like, he's, he's no, yeah, he's no fucking joke. Right. He's like, right, do this. And it, again, it was, it was kettlebell burpees. Right. He's like, right. Oh. You need, so you need to, do, so you're doing the burpees on the kettlebells and you're standing up. So you're doing like a, a deadlift with a burpees. Then you're doing a press up on the burpees. You standing out, standing in, get up. I, I was literally sick. I said, John, I've got to go outside. <laughs> yeah, man. Throw up. I was not feeling good. I probably would have thrown up if I had anything in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> mm. If there was anything there except for a cup of coffee, probably. I was like, ah, I can't eat this early. Like, I was over at his house. At, oh, I was up at 6.45, and I, was, I ended up pushing my appointment back to 10. But I didn't eat anything. I just watched some TV, you know, played on the iPad. All right. Mm. I went to Wally World to go get some 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 gear. I got my dry fit on, and now mm -hmm. I, and now I understand Wally why World is an actual thing. Yeah, um, and now I understand why the women wear these leggings because I got some of these workout pants. These things is I. These are like super comfy PJs. Y'all used to just wear them <laughs> wear them bitches out. I get it now. I get it. Hello, Catamelon. Yeah, keeps what? everything in place as well. Word. Yeah. What what yeah. what's your face about, Tartan? What's so funny? Oh, no, this is so no, you go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's, he's got he's something. He's got face. Yeah, yeah, All go right. ahead. Let's, get your let's joke. Get the, your um, joke off. But hey, don't miss. My my Mikey Famine, can we switch to our um fitness expo, um Jartan Arin? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's get him main screen. He's the fitness expert here. A fitness guru. If you will, he's our, our fitness consigliere. <laughs> so, um, so go on, go on, big fella. Uh, I'm really not uh, comfortable at all in this situation. <laughs> what's what's right. uh, uh? What's no, up? Uh, no, but uh, no. No, no, what, 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 you, what you got, big man? What you got? Yeah, yeah come right. on. I opened up and I shared with the class, and you had a little <laughs> snarky comment from the from the back of the classroom, uh, making paper airplanes. Let's see what you got. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> come on, army boy. Uh, I'm like, give me a second. Give me a second. I'll share the screen with you. I'll share the screen with you. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. See, he's got to get props. Oh, Just go. make your damn yeah. joke. Make your damn joke so we can. Uh, go on. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, thank you. This comment uh, for all you audio listeners. If you want to see the chat in real time, by all means, hit us up on Thursdays midday and check it out. <laughs> tons of mice says this. Thanks, tons of mice. Dartan <laughs> must be excited. Abba is releasing new music. <laughs> what? That's is nice. Abba... Hey, really? They are. Scan <laughs> there's, a, there's a Scandinavian Renaissance. <laughs> I heard Enya's got a mixtape. Let's find a new tour uh, with Bjork. Bjork's got a Lucy out. Just a single, but the album's got to be on its way. Yeah, but as soon as Mike said that he's uh, wearing leggings... I'm not wearing like leggings. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not wearing leggings. This is why I saw in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! How did you? How did you ever think of that? <laughs> wow! <laughs> now, <laughs> now to Get be fair, for audio. Get somebody to spray the picture with us. Uh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> we're, we're we're seeing a small. I'm I'm guessing it's, is it is it a pug? It's a Boston Terrier. <laughs> A, a Boston Terrier, um, 
standing on its back legs with its front legs outstretched. Up against the couch. <laughs> <laughs> looking, no. looking like looking like a human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in the caption on it says, "What men mm-hmm. over thirty look like in skinny jeans." And he's saying <laughs> that's me. First With of those all, really little tiny legs. First of all, mm. sir, I don't have Big little. T- I don't have little tiny legs. I'm just generally skinny, but now I have a small little little, little extra spare tire thing. But I'm good. My body fat was good. My water was good. All that stuff was good. I'm just, my cardio is shit because I fucking sit here producing shows and yeah. talking about politics for the last fucking two years. Oh, my, so I'm, it the, was, I'm the same. I was my, my, not in shape at all. My my job is a very sedentary job. Like I'm, I'm sitting on my ass. I then drive for hours, get to people's houses, go and measure up. And then when I go and play football or something like that, I'm blowing out my ass within mm. 30 seconds. It's, it's fucking shameful. And I, and I think the part that, I'm like, aware. and if I can be a little vulnerable with you guys, it is very humbling to see how far I've backslid. Because mm. I was an athlete for all of my <laughs> life. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks for holding that in, buddy. Could mute your mic. Could mute your mic. But I've I played soccer. I was a swimmer. I was a distance whoa, athlete. Whoa, 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 whoa! You played football. This is my sharing session. I will use the words yeah. that I like to use. Dick for yeah. brains. Dick for brains. Shut up, stone thrower. <laughs> you don't tell her to shut up. You shut up. Um, <laughs> But I've, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been in really great shape. And then, like, I look up and I'm 34 and I haven't run in God, I don't even know how long now. And it's like, wow, I have a lot of work to do. Mm. So it sucked and I didn't like it, but I don't like not being able to do things. So the fire is lit. And it, and it mad how, how quick you, like, fall. From like where you was like active and mm-hmm. being physical, how quick your body just goes to shit Absolute when it comes shit. to cardio. It's 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 scary. Yeah, I mean, I did quit smoking, so like when I was smoking, like even just jogging up a flight of stairs, I would yeah for like a few seconds after that shit. But and and now that yeah. I I'm off that, I mean, I have my vape that I do, but that's. Not nearly as bad because my lungs have definitely recovered from the cigarettes. Yeah. My voice changed. Mm. Like my singing is different now. Like I noticed, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, let me just throw a little rasp on my voice. I'm gonna sing some fucking every time I die. And then I was like, <coughs> <laughs> like I don't have that extra phlegm raspiness going all That's the time right. now. I have like a clear natural voice, and it's weird. Like yeah. everything's weird now. Wait, when you when you cough up the red bit, you're like, what's that? Oh, yeah. dude, that's when I knew it was time to quit smoking, when I was, like, sneezing and coughing up fucking things of colors I won't describe, but they were gelatinous, and it worried um, me. It's like, yeah, we're done. Yeah. That's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old well, lung butter. <laughs> congratulations, guys, on your journey to health. Let me tell While you. While we're talking about this, uh, can I take me. this first? Hey, hey, she was talking. I was was in the middle of something. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I was in the middle of something, yes. Um, Definitely uh, helped me. I was was at a point where I was, like, looking at pictures of me. um, And I was like, wow, uh, I can't live like this anymore. So that's when I decided that um, I needed to change. So we're coming up. Next month will be um, a year since I decided that I was I was over being overweight and uh, you, still, you, you have done a really good job Brenna you are I melting walk, away in front of us I still walk and I you know the summer's hard with like the food wise kind of thing so I you know I was like okay so I'll take the summer and do you know eat whatever I want kind of thing or be <clears> you know not a little cavalier about it but like now I have to get back into that, that but, healthy but, to, to to be fair to you, Brenna, obviously you've not really um, mentioned it publicly, but you've posted it 
with within our group and um yeah we're always like behind you because yeah you've done so bloody well and, and it's, uh, it's and hard it's it's, it's an emo- it's emotional too yeah like i think i think weight loss and healthy of any time kind um is is hard on not just the body but on the psyche because now your lifestyle has changed and like mm-hmm. the way that you look at your friends now have changed so yeah. like you know you can't just go you know your friends are eating you know chicken wings and fries and drinking beers and then you're like i i can't do that and so now you're you're sort of switching the way that you think about it and so there's a lot of mental change that happens and I had to, yeah, like, I basically quit drinking for three months, like, which is hard. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, I didn't say all that. It's really, really hard. (laughs) Um, Well, yeah, it's, uh, alcohol is not good for at least weight loss. No, it's a a sexually wrapped up poison. That's what alcohol is. Damn, it's sexually. Yeah, so it's it's one thing, like, honestly, it, it always reminds me of when, like, uh, Chris Pratt, so he lost all the weight for and, and gained all that muscle for um, like Guardians of the Galaxy, and yeah. then they, he, but he's still filming uh, Parks and Rec at the same time, and how he he said like his at Parks and Rec it was like he quit drinking <clears throat> for two months, and then he all got all ripped kind of thing, and I feel like that that's not actually wrong, <laughs> like you kind of have to. The, the the thing is, if 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 you look at the um, metabolic rate of how alcohol is um, perceived within the body, it's a case of it sees it as a toxin. So mm-hmm. alcohol gets prioritised over every other thing, and then the second thing that gets prioritised over that is sugar. So yeah. if you get rid of alcohol and sugar, i.e. carbs and booze. Um, it's amazing how quick like the weight drops off you and i yeah. i i dropped two stone after mm-hmm. just not drinking alcohol not drinking well not having carbs um two stone boom yeah. like that yeah. but can we convert is, that to freedom units it's just too <laughs> sexy <laughs> yeah two curling stones <laughs> how much does a curling stone weigh Brent? i need to i need to have some way of converting this 42 pounds. God damn. Mm-hmm. But how, do, how much does the broom weigh? It depends on the broom. Mine's pretty light. It's about like a pound, pound and... Mm. De- um, my, my big heavy one um, probably Hello. weighs about two pounds. <laughs> Easy but way. But I, I, don't, I don't play with that one that, that often. <laughs> Shut up, Wayne. <laughs> You're talking about my sport. What? Like, it's the one thing that I have in my life. You guys are um, of it. He's turning it dirty is what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the middle, the, the, no, but, I so refuse. No, but it's I'm a middle-aged gonna, man thing. I'm just going to go so, to the thing know. on America and say pause. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm sure it's available you know, soon. It's because Wayne's middle-aged. He has to sexualize women. Uh, you know, he's <laughs> born in uh, a different era. Uh, Oh, oh, really? uh, uh, didn't you just have this comment, Jartan, that you're turning into a boomer? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Slowly yeah. morphing into one. <laughs> okay, boomer. He's just uh, yelling at uh, every... He just has his muscle car, but he yells at everybody's car radio. He's like, yeah, it's too loud! Yeah. It's too yeah. loud! Yeah. You kids, he's, he's, you kids he's, don't he's, respect. He's there with his car with no catalytic converter shouting at clouds. <laughs> just, just being a general cunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not denying it. That cloud's no, way too I'm high. Not, not, I am not denying anything on this. No, <laughs> no denial. Just, just, don't, just don't sit in your little glass house with your trebuchet throwing stones everywhere. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a hand grenade at best. Um, but, but here's the deal. Uh, when it comes to this whole weight loss thing, like, I commend you all for making the change and <laughs> wanting to be more healthy. It's fantastic, and I respect you for it. So there, there, there is a massive fuck you. coming. Mm-hmm. There is a massive mm-hmm. fuck coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dartan's massive butt. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
basically, basically that. Jotan's about to get Kim Kardashian on it. Go to OnlyFans.com slash The Bin Podcast for his Jartan twerk videos. <laughs> with his. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. oh don't. Don't make me pick up a poo. No. <laughs> No. Jartan is our native thick boy, and he's going to let y'all know what's really good. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah. He's going to shave no, no, one uh, leg. Good on you. Uh, fuck. There. Is there a segue it coming? Is, is there a, a segue? Dangerous thing to all this, which we all know, and especially on social media, and this is one of the first things <gasps> I'm going to talk about. <gasps> he, just, he just went, like, segue like this. Like he went a long way around. Someone get me the crowbar because he has just made the problem thing like you. Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy's back. The yeah, Ozzy's back. Ozzy. Uh, so, uh, here's the deal. Uh, what I, c- I can't see that very well. No, I, no I'm uh, like, the old... for all of our eagle uh, watchers, yeah. they can see yeah. it. No, it's better now. Jartan, J- J- we haven't all got boomer screens. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, with, yeah. The, with the magnifying glass. <laughs> I got binoculars, mate. Um, <laughs> Give your glasses. Hold on. Let I'm me sorry, you should get can... your binoculars out in time. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, yeah, I'm not going to read it. TikTok, during early months of the pandemic, Haley Collins often encountered videos showing people's exercise routines or the foods they ate throughout the day. Collins, a 19 year old, Sophomore at Catholic University in Virginia has struggled with body image issues and anxiety, both of which were worsened by COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, and this goes on and on and on. Uh, this was just the first uh, English um, 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 <laughs> newspaper that I got up who had written about this article. It's from Mar- okay. March 19. Uh, but in a Norwegian <laughs> and Swedish newspaper, Newspaper. Uh, it is this article by uh, Kiara, who's thirteen, uh, who's how how kids down to twelve, thirteen are having eating disorder, getting eating disorders by watching people on TikTok and watching how they do stuff and how actual. Influencers and TikTokers are promoting things that are outright fucking dangerous and creating an even more because we know there has been whoa um, that we know that there all has always been uh, a sort of a body a, an unhealthy body ideal for young people even during the 70s 80s 90s is mm-hmm. or it's almost always been that way but now it's all over all the time it's in your face it's in your cell phones and now that kids have been staying home a lot from school they sit and they use a lot of their time on social media and they see these things mm-hmm. all of the time and mm. the thing that i want to talk about is it's just how dangerous do you think that is when people actually, you know, <laughs> almost is a spokesperson from bu- for bulimia on TikTok, and how can we get around that? How can we how can we prevent people from doing that? How because it's not sexual explicit content. It's not, you know, one thing or the other. But they're not breaking any of the rules. But that's the same as when um, they tried to go after rappers and like, oh, look at all the profanity in your rap. How dare you do that? Children are listening. Mm, it's like, no, no, that's, no, no, no. People are not responsible for raising other people's children. Uh, Period. My, my, End Mikey, up. My, my, Mikey, I've, I've got to jump on you on this one, right? Um, with uh, a you six-year-old can't. daughter who is very much all over social media, as in, well, to a degree, she watches YouTube and um, just general crap um she's massively influenced by it and just her language and her behavior her demeanor is influenced by it and it's something it's something that does scare me because 
I know how easily propagandized um, we are as a, as a species. And my thing is I need to teach my daughter to be um, media literate and being able to see through things. Right. Because the fact of the matter is, all of our mates will just be like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to be skinny, we're going to do this. And it's, it's, it's fucking toxic. It's absolutely toxic. And to try and make sure that, especially Sienna, because, because she is so, um, so immersed within that media landscape, it's so hard to sort of like like c- certain things that she says. I'm like, where do you hear that? And I'm guessing it's from YouTube or from some streamer or or whatever. And to 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 Jartan's point, it's a case of we need to sort of like get people like realistically uh, give them a realistic body image. Give them this is who you are. This is what you need to do. And we need to stay on top of it because if we don't and these influencers get on top of it, then they're going to make our children more susceptible to sort of like things like bulimia, anorexia and sundry other eating disorders or body um, image disorders, which is really, it's really fucking scary, especially as a dad of two girls. It's fucking scary. Um, I don't... Of course, but 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 that's not what Mikey's talking about. No, that, that's a non-answer to to what Mikey just said. That that does you didn't really address any of the points that I was bringing up. I'm yeah. saying that no. it we can't tell influencers what to do on their channel. Like if somebody came no. in and said, um, "My kid might watch the Ben podcast. Why the hell are you guys drinking and smoking on?" And cursing right. and talking about sex. Right. This my kid might see that and start emulating that. Like, and right. we're gonna look at that per, that parent right in their face and say, "Go fuck yourself." And then your little yeah. and your mm. kid can go fuck themselves. No. Like, we don't have to change what we do to please you. But at the same time, no, I get that you're saying that people that that younger people are easily influenced. But that's the my, job my, of the parents, my, right? Not my, the job my, of the my, creator. My, right. my, my point, my my point was more of a general general generality. <laughs> generality, yes. Easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't a case of. No. It's just. It's just kind of. Um, as soon as Jartan brought it up, my first thought was like, "What I see, Sienna, um, like reacting to, and how she is, and like because it's something that me and me and Kerry have spoke about before. So it's it it is." in the same vein it's just we're trying to keep on top of that right and we're sort of like seeing her reactions to certain influences and certain um podcasters and certain i don't know just personalities online and and this this is not something that's new and jartan's right we've we've dealt with this kind of body negative body image for decades, yeah, uh, centuries almost, like to where there's a certain type of shape of a, a, a woman can be in order to get into high society or to get married. Um, it's always been like this, like you know, it, it was the way that uh, to the point where like the like doctors were prescribing very dangerous, you know, speed. Yeah, and to coke. women, yeah. um, at you know, from from like the the twenties. I mean, the nineteen twenties, where like it was very popular for women to be small and skinny, and we've seen these sort of trends in the way the younger girls will start looking, especially when you mm. get into something like a like a Barbie, right? We yeah. went through this whole um the the thigh gap, if you guys. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Guys understand like, the thigh gap. That came from the look of a Barbie. Now Barbie mm. decided to change the you know, have multiple sizes and shapes and colors of, of their their you know product for that. Shout out to them for that. They mm. they made a huge choice 
and it was it was a, a a risk for them, but they ended up on top. They brought back Barbie from the brink of bankruptcy mm-hmm. because they decided to take a look at what girls needed, and it was the 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 a different size and shape. And I think those kind of influences when it comes to the mm-hmm. interact like this is what girls are interacting with. They're interacting with their toys. They're interacting with their videos. 100%. They're interacting with their friends. Like these are those types of influence. And Mikey is definitely right on this, where it's not it's not the job of the TikTok person. It's the job of the people of surrounding that child about yeah. how they're going to how they're going to help make sure that that TikTok influencer is not actually influencing their, their kid negatively. Yeah. Like there there is a there is this is this is a psychological shit that's going on yeah, here. Yeah, it's, and it's, I, I, I just want to say that if I have misunderstood what Jartan's point was, uh, I apologise. It's just it's something that's really, really it's close to, to you. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's close to us because obviously, like, seeing the girl how, our, yeah, how our daughter reacts to certain stimuli and what we can do, because like, obviously, like, but right, here you go, darling. Here's your iPad. Fucking watch that. Crack on. But yeah. then when you see how she reacts to certain things, and you think, where the fuck you got that from? And you think, yeah, okay, she's got. It and from it's here. hard. I think. So, I think. Yeah. Parents. Parents don't understand how to uh, to speak to their children about these kind of things. Like it's not. Yeah. It's not. It, it's not inherent. Because we are we we are not the generation of the the TikTok. Right, we are not yeah. that kind of generation. So yeah, so I, I, well, I, I, I just, I, no, no, I, I right. genuinely want to apologise because I, I, I reacted emotionally mm-hmm. to something that I've, I've misconstrued, but I'm, I'm seeing it like and this well, is how my daughter first, is being. First of all, first so. of all, first of all uh, I only asked the question. It was Mikey's answer that you uh, did yeah. not answer. Uh, that, that, like my question, no, 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 open, open question. So, so I didn't have a point in this. I was just asking a simple question, like, how yeah, but, 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 but again, I've I've misconstrued it, so that's on me. So, yeah. can you stop? Being, what yeah. what show is this where everyone's fucking apologizing and being nice? I get the but, fuck off, yeah. you yeah, no, fucking but, wanker, yeah, no, mother. Yeah. 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 How dare yeah. you? How dare you be? How but dare you be reasonable? If you, if you, Let's if you, fight! If, <laughs> if you if you if you get shit wrong, put your hands up and just go, yeah, yeah. I've got it wrong. And so, speaking of that, and I do have something that I'll have to talk about later where I got something wrong last week. But uh, imagine that. Let's do that. Let's um, do that. Now. Let's do that. No, now. no, no. Wait, wait. Now, now, hold on. So every so hold on, hold on. So all of us have seen Wayne's two beautiful children, and 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 the part that I empathize with Wayne about is. If you look down and you see these two little droplets of heaven that call you daddy with their little curly hair, with their little curly hair oh. and their big old eyes and their beautiful oh. smiles and to think in like a few years they're going to think in their head that there's something wrong with them and they're not beautiful perfect little girls. Right. That's the heartbreaking thing. Cuz yeah. like you want to yell at him like, duh, you're adorable. Look at you. you wanna you're perfect. Shake his neck. Like, there's nothing. I can't find the thing wrong with you except that your farts smell real bad, but you can't see that yeah. in a picture. Like, but, grab, him, yeah. grab, him, <laughs> grab him by the back of the head, <laughs> shove their face in the mirror, and say, fucking have a look at yourself. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Or you just pick up the mirror and you say, look at this. <laughs> So, a new so disclaimer funny. on this show. Uh, when it comes to parenting, do not take this as advice or, uh, <laughs> or yeah. recommendations on how but, to uh, raise your children. We are, yeah. are, by, by the way, this is not mum. This is not mum's net. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Do, do, um, don't, don't do any of that. Um, so, but here. But that's heartbreaking. I love children. But, but as as a, as a as a somebody who grew up as a girl with highly low self-esteem and everything else that goes with that anxiety stuff like that it's it's a difficult thing to address as a young person as when i was a kid it was really hard to say i have horrible crippling anxiety 
when it comes to other people. I have terrible, terrible low self-esteem about myself. Um, I still do. I mean, I, I, they, these kind of things, they don't go away. Yeah. And it's, it's as, as parents, I, I can't imagine what you guys are thinking of because we are in the age of where everything is not only do you, you hardly have any control over what they're seeing, mm. what they're actually looking for, and what the other people in their lives are influencing. Peer pressure is the biggest influence, whether it's a good peer pressure or a bad peer pressure. We've always heard this from our entire lives, and it's entirely true. And it's very hard as a parent because I know that listen, you know, talking to my mother, it's an incredibly difficult thing to say because she's supposed to be the, you know, she's supposed to be influencing me and, you know, it, it, it didn't always work out. Okay. And Hold so on. this is, Hold this on. is a very difficult thing to do is talk about, just talk about just the, I mean, the mental part of this um, is really hard. And mm. in, uh, unless we actually go after kids at a young age and actually give them mental health and speak and, and give them these, these tools in mm. order to deal with all this, it's going to be very difficult not to have this um, type of influence over young children, and especially when they start getting into that, that very vulnerable time in which they become teenagers. It's very one, vulnerable for, especially one, for one, one, one thing that I will do my best to instill in Sienna is media literacy, because that's something that, in general, the the general populace is is not aware of. You know, looking at um the the the, the language that's used in in media, you know, could, should, would, all these kind of ambiguous terms that can lead to certain conclusions but when they're not actually real and fact-based i need i need her to be able to dissect um the media that she's uh digesting and being able to look at it and go no this is this is not this is not a real story this is not a good story this is yeah. hearsay or something like that because the the, the problem that we have now is you have um, it's, it's, it's like gossip. So mm. someone hears something at the water cooler, as you would say in America, and all of a sudden that now becomes the, the norm. Right. So they go into school and they hear this and they're just sort of like chatting about, oh, did you hear so and so? It's the peer no. pressure. Yeah. And it's all yeah. about being part of the in group and, yeah. and all that. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's <clears> so hard just to sort of. Again, uh, Jartan, you you probably have experienced this. Um, trying to trying to influence your kids in a good way without being domineering is because very difficult. Because they'll go the opposite. Yeah. If you yeah. if you're too if you're if you're trying to control them too much, they're going to go the opposite direction, and it's going to get worse. So 100%. there is a balance. There's a balance between I care about the way you know the way you feel about yourself is really important to me. Um, yeah. but you can't go now you have to you can't have these friends like that's the first thing that always goes is some a parent says you cannot have these friends and that mm -hmm. does not work out you cannot do this that does not work out you have to be able as you said is train them to make those right decisions yeah yeah, just train give, them on the and to give them that option. Shout, shout out, go on. Yeah, yeah. since I asked the question, I think we're going to put a cap on it. But I just want to say that uh, things have changed. The world have changed. Uh, when Kate Moss did the whole heroin chase thing, it was directed towards adults. It was not to directed directly towards children. The thing that we're seeing now that is a bit different from any other advertising or influencer <coughs> campaign or influence, you know, commercial campaign that has been done is that they are using more and more time trying to get at children, trying to influence children, small kids of 
a very, very young age. And this is something new, something that we haven't seen before and which is made possible through the mediums that were not available to us uh, before. And these are some of the things that sort of scare me. Because, yes, Mikey, I do agree with you. Nobody uh, but the parent should, you know, um, raise a child. But it takes a a village to raise a child. That is also a saying. We need as a collective to help each other uh, to 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 create the tools that is needed to do this and saying that um, nobody on the internet you know it's up to the parents all right so we just put all of these things out there and it's directed towards children yes i can see that you have a reply to this and you're welcome to, to, to give it but this is something new something i haven't seen before because it's directed towards children and it's not controlled in any sort of way at all in some countries they don't even say that hey uh you know you see that i'm wearing only nike or adidas clothing but i don't have to say that all of these clothes were given to me i'm a big fucking advertising poster for adidas or or who, who the fuck ever in yeah. sweden you have to say that you know I'm, i've gotten these products i have this is a paid uh, um, partnership with these blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. you have to say that in some countries you don't have to say that it's you, you do, you do in the UK by the way you do yeah. have to say yes, but now they're starting to do the I'm just an ambassador hmm. right so you're not really paid advertising you're just an ambassador for a, for a certain uh, so but this is something new and now it's towards children how mm-hmm. As a collective, how as a village, mm. let's look at it that way. Can we protect these children from this? And this is where I'm getting at. And this is where you and me, Mikey, uh, disagree. Please go ahead, Mikey. Mikey disagree for fuck's sake. Yeah, but you have to unmute your mic first. You you don't let them have TikTok. What is it? What is my? Well, what if, is if Mike did that? No, no, no. But here's here's the thing. I he's almost got a whole sentence out. I got like three <laughs> words. So so. If we're if I'm in charge of my kids, right? I'm the one who gets. I'm the one who's responsible for all them. That if I don't want to deal with something, then I'm not going to deal with something. If that is a if that is an undue burden, that my child is putting on themselves, and that they are um, consequentially putting on top of me. Like, if my kid wants to aggressively pogo stick at the skate park, but keeps breaking their femur, I'm going to say that's enough of the pogo stick. That's dangerous for you. So if I see that something can be dangerous for you, I'm going to make the call. Like it or love it, love it or hate it, I'm going to be the one that makes the call. And then they, and then they can resent me and be mad about it. And that's just, that's life. That's how we all grew up. But you know what? I wasn't doing a lot of the stupid shit that I would have, wouldn't have been into had my mom not said no to things. And saying no is not bad. Saying no without an alternative is bad. But if I have tons of alternatives and they want to do dumb people shit, and they want to waste their fucking time, no, we right. don't do that in this house. Uh, I'm, 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 I
um, this is what I would say, like the peer pressure, it has to be everybody involved in, in that child's life has to be yeah. on the same page. And like, Mikey, you're going to have to go to your neighbors who's going to have to go to your kids, you know, friends, parents, and then you all have to agree TikTok is a bad thing. And it may not mitigate the problem, but it might lessen it. Um, because mm. we're always going to have the media influence over people and there are going to go back get as quickly down down the age group to the point where you're going to see three-year-olds with tiktok like mm -hmm. very soon where it's it's though you can only do so much in this society especially with 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 the media and we've seen that with facebook facebook has not really changed twitter has not really changed uh, because it's they're in the business of business. Yeah. They don't really care um, about your kids. I'm I'm a hundred percent with um, Brenna and Jartan. Like so, mm -hmm. so the thing is, I can stop Sienna. I, I can block every fucking thing like YouTube, TikTok, whatever, yeah. on a tablet, on the TV. I can, put a, I can put a pin on it. But then she goes to school, and someone else has got it, and then she wants to come home and watch some dick playing Roblox or playing fucking, what's the other one? Uh, Minecraft. Mm -hmm. she, she just wants to watch them play that. And when when she's out of, out of my house, I have no um, redress to that. She yeah. can do it because she's, she's watching it on her, on her mate's phone or uh, her parents, uh, sorry, her, her mate's parents' laptop or whatever. So it's, it's about addressing it and sort of like mitigating it and saying like this is not healthy for this reason mm -hmm. and this is why you don't need to watch it so like sienna's got like a time thing on her uh fire pad she mm -hmm. she gets gets it for two hours a day and if she's good i'll let her have another hour or whatever yeah. that's that's the best that you can do as a parent when she's outside of your circle of influence it's it's down to the other people around you, but you need to educate you, you need to educate your child to be aware of how harmful these things are um, when you're not around because yeah. you, you can't be around all the time. Okay, Mikey, yeah. so. uh, go ahead, Brenna. I'll I'll, I'll no, wait no, no. for you guys to do no, your no, second no. round. I, I I I basically <laughs> was going to say yeah, you're you can you can only teach her that mm -hmm. maybe school is not the best place for TikTok. Maybe she could say, like, you can just say, maybe, um, tr you know, don't want, like, you can only do so much. And maybe that that might help reduce her, her screen time a little bit for at least those, those things. Or maybe say, you know, just keep, you know, monitoring that, yeah, she's only watching you, the YouTube videos on Minecraft. That's not a big deal. Um, as you know, it, but like if she uses it for anything else, maybe that that should be talked about. It's something where it's like you gotta. There's there's only so much you can do with kids these days, and you can't and you can't completely cut them off, but you also can't completely let them run free. Because mm -hmm. I mean, because I mean, there was stuff like, I mean, the internet was you had to be like at the at home PC with the dial up, like when we were kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? So no oh, one was. <laughs> No, nobody was running around with like a compact presario, just like you're running out like, come on, my dad forgot to lock it, and now we can watch porn. Like that wasn't a thing. Like you just had like thirty extension cords my, going down to the my, skate park. My, my could be like ASL. <laughs> back in the back in the days, but back in the day, want a private chat? Yeah. <laughs> My aim go, name. You want to take this outside? My aim name is. <laughs> I think it was the Deviant actually back then. Um, oh, there's a surprise. Right. That's my band name. Uh, so, like, I I get what you guys are saying. I get that. I get what the problem is. I'm just of a different mindset because. You're not a parent. Sure. And also, I don't care what Jimmy's doing with Jimmy's parents are doing with Jimmy. 
<laughs> wow. Because 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 when it comes down to it, my kid is responsible for themselves and I'm responsible for them. So that's mm-hmm. something that was instilled in me very early is you have to take accountability for your actions, good, bad, or, in, or indifferent. Mm. Don't walk mm-hmm. around puffing your chest out every time you do something good and don't hide when you do something wrong. I think, I th- I think it's so, hard to... So, um, so, so, if I tell, no, no, so, so if I tell my kid, yo, um, this kind of stuff, not really f- meant for kids, and um, you might start feeling weird about yourself after watching this. Like, it can give you like a self-esteem problem. Like, do you know what self-esteem is? No, what's self-esteem? Yeah, that's like when you, like, you don't feel good about yourself for no reason. You're like, it makes you sad about being yourself. And I don't think that that's cool for people to do that to you. So I'd like if you guys didn't watch that. So mm-hmm. if you see it with your friends, just try not to watch it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's something funny, sure, laugh at the funny thing. But, yeah, just try to take you. you know, that's that's my, my, my take on raising little people. And that's how I've treated them since I've had nieces and nephews in this whole time. Okay. It's my, uh, my, my, it's, go ahead. It's go ahead. It, it's it's, it's, it's your turn. You you want to step in here? I'll but but this but this on. but I'm sorry. I'm not going to be interrupted again. This can't be a you don't know because you don't have kids. That doesn't mean I don't get to finish what I'm saying. No, it doesn't mean no, that I don't get to no, finish no, what no, I'm no, saying. No, no. I, I'm actually trying to stop Wayne from saying that. That's why I hold my hand up because I don't think that that's fair. I don't think that you have to be a parent to have no. an opinion about parenting. I don't agree with what Wayne said. It's I, I think that's because you don't have a parent, because you're not a parent. I don't agree with that. That's why I was holding my hand out, because okay. I think that that's an unfair un- assumption. Yeah. So, it, uh, is, it, uh, is. It, it would It would be like me being able to have a view on LBTQ rights, because I'm not an LBTQ plus person, right? I, I'm still allowed to have an opinion about something, even though... I yeah. I I do not classify within those. Uh, kind of like parameters. reproductive rights. It's almost hey, like if someone made like if women's someone, rights. It's almost like someone made a law about ovaries and they didn't have of ovaries. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh, why did you do that? Because I was just going to make a point. But all right, let's uh, move on. Yeah, we need to wrap this one up. It's yeah, uh, we've been on it for a minute. I still love yeah. you, Wayne. Yeah. We'll argue later. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's 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 not a matter of arguing. It's just I uh, said uh, we'll argue. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Did you all, not listen all, to all, me? All, all, all I was gonna say was like my perspective was the same as yours until I had a kid, and it it changed. That so it's not me saying that you can't have an opinion on it. It's just that my opinion. Muted yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you weren't supposed to tell him. <laughs> oh, there can't be. She's in the middle of a fucking thing. That Sorry, Wayne. That was rude. It was funny. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. Um, Don't matter. Don't we'll, matter. Oh. we'll talk later, Wayne, without this asshole in here to start muting people. Yep. Uh, no, it wasn't me, I swear. I didn't do it. Whatever. I Whatever. Didn't do it. I wouldn't have. Um, okay. Let's uh pull let's, us up, Miss Brenna. Pull us up. Let's 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 talk about something a little bit um more ha- happier. <laughs> I did. I was oh, like, no. is this how did you happier? How did I don't know. How did you how did you vote, Brenna? Let's see here. Brenna is talking about Jesus H Christ. Okay. Um. Obviously, so. I want to stipulate before all this that um, I'm I'm fairly certain everybody uh, here is um, at least uh, pro um, safe legal rare abortions. I'm not going to go into that um, because we've actually talked about this kind of stuff a lot. Um, I just specifically want to start. I want to talk about this um, Texas. Um, abortion thing. So it's known as like the heartbeat uh, bill or uh, heartbeat law. So it's supposed to be that if you, um, once you can detect a heartbeat in a fetus, it's considered a person. Um, and uh, which is about six weeks, um, which is absolute total bullshit, but whatever. Um, 
so the the idea is that if you um, are uh, if, if one is is over six weeks pregnant and gets a abortion, it is now legally they can the providers the the drivers the the person um, signing them in to uh, the clinic can now be sued by a private citizen for up to $10,000 um, if the court uh, deems it to be um, law, uh, unlawful or, you know, that, 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 that person providing that abortion um, is, is seen as that. Um, so the idea is that, of course, it's supposed to eliminate um, basically anybody providing abortions to the poor people, the the young people, the the abused individuals, the um, you know all those vulnerable groups. Because guess guess I, I know we've said this a lot, but guess who's not going to stop getting abortions? Who? Rich people. What? Um, yeah. Uh, exactly. Joy. So it's not going to prevent abortions. It's going to prevent the people who actually need that service um, to uh, get scared that they're not only going to get sued by a private citizen who's you know whistleblowing, who's who's narking on them. Um, but they could end up paying uh, that person up to ten thousand dollars for that. Um, yeah. So, uh, welcome to the nightmare. Um, that is uh, the Handmaid's Tale. So this, I, I got it. You know, this is this is now considered like an American Taliban kind of idea, where like women's rights are just like boom gone. And, and I pulled up a, a similar article from The Atlantic. I'll post it in the chat. It says, uh, the key, as Texas lawmakers saw it, was not to criminalize abortions. Instead, the state has uh, authorized private citizens in the state, quite literally any private citizen, to file lawsuits against anyone who performs of knowingly aids or abets an abortion after the six weeks of pregnancy, which is like... Most women don't know they're pregnant. You don't even about, know. Mm, eight weeks. When plaintiffs in these suits succeed, uh, succeed, and many inevitably will, they will receive at least ten grand uh, from defendants and an injunction preventing a provider from performing any more abortion after six weeks of pre pregnancy. It's a witch hunt. Yes. It's literally a witch hunt. Yes. It is some brown shirt, fucking red on your neighbor's witch hunt bullshit. And and my yeah. thing is, if if HIPAA is a thing, and uh, doctor patient confidentiality is a thing, literally nobody can um, ever do this. Like you how would right on the nose there, Mikey? How the hell would right anybody ever fucking know? How would they know? It is it 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 is a definitely a HIPAA violation. Um, doctor patient confidentiality and um, apparently I don't understand like it ain't nobody's business right and yet like it's nobody's business whether or not you're vaccinated right that's oh, right. what these <laughs> right wing crazies are saying but when it comes to somebody getting access to their, um, an abortion clinic or a doctor who's performing it or the nurse who's intaking like apparently <laughs> it's everybody's business like this is the most ridiculous out of like in out of their minds insane idea that the that somebody going in to a planned parenthood to get their to to get access to to make that decision whether or not they're going to get an abortion Apparently, if you're standing outside with binoculars looking at these people walk in, that you have every right to get up in their grill Ask them. and sue them yeah. and everybody around them for $10,000. And let me ask, where the hell are they going to get this money? 
What the hell? My ten thousand dollars just disappeared. Oh wait, the taxpayer. Doctors, that's fine. Yeah, like the doctors, they they have malpractice because this is what they're going to presume that providing abortion services is considered malpractice, and so it's everybody else's job. It's. I'm sorry, I'm, I've I've yelled enough. Please. Um, um, hold on, let me let me just do a little translating. Uh, HIPAA for people across the pond oh, and who yeah. have different acronyms for their different things is the Health Insurance Portabil- Portability and Accountability Act of 1996. HIPAA <coughs> is a federal law that required the creation of national standards to protect sensitive patient health information from being disclosed without the patient's consent or knowledge. Basically. If I'm a healthcare provider, I'm a nurse, if you come in and say, uh, my crotch is really on fire and it's burning and it's itching, I can't then go on to social media and say, Wayne Lynch was in my fucking, uh, <laughs> he was in my clinic with the worst crotch rod I've ever seen. I can't say that. I like where this is going. I think you're talking about the uh, Kings of Leon song from 2008, uh, my, sex, my Sex is on Fire. My yeah. crotch is on fire. I, I don't fucking drag me in there, right? although I wouldn't mind being a pan behind them. I, um, I am, um, uh, I need some translation here because okay. I don't understand this. So uh, <clears throat> I can do it for you. HIPAA is basically the NHS. Uh, no, 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 not that. No, 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 oh, not okay. that. Go I, I got that. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, the thing that okay. I don't understand is that. All right, so I'm reading this, and I still don't understand it. The key, as Texas lawmakers saw it, was not to criminalize abortion. Instead, the state has authorized private citizens in the state, quite literally any private citizen, to file lawsuits against anyone who performs or knowingly... Hold on, hold on. Let me pause you. Let me pause you. Let me pause you. So the first sentence, the key, as the Texas lawmakers was not to criminalize it. If it was criminalized, it could be overturned. Yeah, it was shot down. It would be. They could they could easily just bat that right I know, right I know, out of I there. Know. That that is not the thing that baffles me. Um, I'm just going to read the first section. When plaintiffs in these suits succeed, and many inevitably will, they will receive at least ten thousand dollars from defendants and an injunction preventing a provider from performing any more abortions after six weeks of pre- pregnancy. So, this is my question, and the thing that I don't understand. How is something that is not criminal, can a private citizen sue somebody, and then, that like, under what statute would you win a case? So, because this is how insane it is for me. So, I'm... I'm outside the hospital, and some woman, well, I'm not even outside the hospital, but some woman that I know has decided to have an abortion. I sue her for what? You sue the clinic. It's, it's, it's civil. Yeah, it's oh, civil. yeah, all right. I sue the clinic for what? And it's civil, civil. Because yeah, they broke the law. They broke the law that Texas made up. But it's Governor, Ab- Governor Abbott wrote in a law. And it, so it is illegal. You know what I'm saying? So if there's any illegality, there can be uh, compensation paid for it. What is illegal? The abortion was illegal. Providing, okay. providing the service of abortion. The Doesn't abortion cannot be, you cannot make it, yeah. So you cannot, um, you cannot make a law that passes that makes abortion blanket illegal. You have to make the law that after the six weeks, if you provide that abortion, that is illegal. And thus, if you knowing if if somebody walks into a Planned Parenthood, um, you and somebody watches them, that would be grounds for some for a, a lawsuit against that provider that um that could result in up to ten thousand dollars. Oh my god, I should have got Susan on here. Damn it, I'm yeah. stupid. again, not by the state. The state is not prosecuting this law. Private citizens right. are suing yeah. clinics for doing something that 
is criminalized? Illegal, not criminalized. After or, after six weeks. Which again uh, is bullshit. Because sometimes uh, individuals will not even know that they're pregnant until after most up to people eight. don't know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna go and do a test quick. And again, this idea of a heartbeat is again also bullshit because it's not even six. It's not even six weeks. It's like three months or something. Twelve. It's the twelve. There you go. Twelve weeks. So again, this is all based. This is this is anti science. Big surprise. This is anti women. Big surprise. And this, I am fairly much going to say, this is exactly what the Taliban does. Um, and oh. thus, this is Sharia law, you guys. It is. You assholes. It literally this is. This is Sharia law. And these are the types of things. Because this is, cause this is based on the Christian religion, yeah. right? That is the and best fucking segue ever. <laughs> no, but I'm come a, on. Come on. Brenna, you Brenna, Brenna wins best it. segue ever. No, but it's not like somebody's going to drag you at, uh, in the... Like, yeah, you lose some money, but nobody's going <laughs> to drag you in the back and shoot you in the fucking back of the head. Well, no, it, it's even worse than that because now these girls who are afraid to go get an abortion because, well, this no one will offer it to them now. They're going to be using all kinds of... Afraid. And they're going to be using self-home methods, which could fucking kill them. Yeah, but they I could die. This is n- this is a death sentence. What if what if a a sixteen year old goes home, can't get an abortion, and then what happens when their parents find out? What are they going to do? Right. They're I, going I, to. I, right. Sorry. This is this is going this is going to cause so many problems. Like we're we're this is just the beginning of well actually this is more of the middle of this complete destruction of. Um, women's rights here in the United States and Texas is, you know, we Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, they're the ones that are that are really pulling for these really harsh abortion bills so that they can get enough red meat thrown at their base in order to get the power that they so desperately desire because they can't get it with actual policies. They have to go after policies that really affect individuals and uh, absolutely no no but uh, just give me a second because i want to sure. um, want to get my two cents in it because all right so i totally agree with everything that you said we know that sodomy law does not prevent people from having sex we know that anti-abortion laws that might not prevent people from uh, getting uh, abortions. We know this. It, it, yes. People will find a way to get an abortion. It would just be unsafe, uh, unsavory, and just bad in every single sense of the word. It, it, it would just be bad. Worse. The only thing that I'm taking exception is like saying it's sure a lot. Yes, it's somewhere. It's not. It, 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 you're not getting shot because of it. It's saying that it, yes, it's worse because people, you know, would be using. I don't know, like chopsticks to try to have an abortion or what the fuck ever. I don't know if I even. I mm. heard something about like cold. Hey, 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 right? hey, we don't have yeah. to describe that. Huh. No, but yeah, yeah. Let's not nobody that. was used to be, do that. I know, I know, I know. We're, I know. we're, we're, I know, looking, we're looking at dangerous methods in which somebody might end up getting killed. Can, 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 we, can, we can we just say dangerous methods rather than. Yeah, 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 but dangerous, yeah, yeah. yeah but dangerous, dangerous, dangerous methods. methods. But dangerous methods, uh, but it's not like you're getting somebody's getting killed or you know executed over it. So, uh, yeah, I understand like it's it's horrible, but it's I, that's I, a I that's a that's a that's a shit. that's a distinction without a difference because female reproductive rights are taken away under Sharia law. So it is. It's not the most extreme cases of it, but it is Sharia law. That is the yeah. same thing. It's it's a form of Sharia law. So like, where, um, it's based on it's based on religious doctrine, and not on scientific right. and no. social needs. No, it's for using right wing rhetoric against right wing politics, and that's why I take exception with being right. that way. 
that's that's a fair point. Right, you you're trying to scare people by using the word Sharia law. You're using the same rhetoric as we are uh, are uh, accused yeah. of right of doing. You're using the same rhetoric because you, you this is an ugly word. Sharia word law is an ugly word because of this and, and this and that. And no, no, no. It's an ugly language. word because it's fucking ugly. It doesn't matter what fucking side you're on. No. Okay. It's not. I, so I, sure, I don't sure, like it. It. Okay. So you have. So you don't. It's rhetoric. You, Okay, you find it rhetorical. That's that's fine, but it doesn't change the fact that, that that absolutely lines up with the same fucking principles. And when the when people say, "Oh, Handmaid's Tale," yeah, that's rhetoric, but it's also the fucking same thing. Like like, and I'm from Missouri, yeah. right? I'm born and born and raised in St. Louis. Do you know they you, close? You, they hold you, the you, fuck you, on, mate. You're from Missouri. I'm glad you made me pause for that. Um. They closed all but one Planned Parenthood in the state. So if you live, and Missouri is not a small state, probably bigger than the UK. If you live 400 miles away from it. You want some. You want some. If you live 400 miles away from the closest spot and you're 17 and you don't have a way of getting there, what what do you do? You figure something out. And that's fucked yeah. up. That's fucked Fucked. Yeah. Mm. These are it's, these it's are these are little girls. It, exactly. I'm, if I'm, you're go if you have a problem with abortion, the the best way is definitely not to close access to it. It's actually to get all these. You you have to do preventative care. You have you also have to do the mental side of it. You have to be able to provide the services that actually help prevent. And then when that rare, hopefully rare occasion in which an abortion needs to be provided, that there are people there that will compassionately take on that and, and be able to do that. And it's nobody else's business. It's not my neighbor's business. Nope. And it sure as hell ain't any of your guys' business what I do in that case. I have never discussed again uh, the point that you're making about um, abortion. You you keep repeating the same arguments over and over again. I have discussed against it once. The only thing I'm saying is under Sharia law, it's not only women's rights. It, there's a lot of things that come with that. When you use that rhetoric right, in a specific case or when you use a handmade still, a handmade still is it's not just about one thing it's about an entire system that has collapsed and so on and so forth so when you use that equivalent as a rhetoric as a rhetorical uh, grip to win an argument i feel that you are being disingenuous because it's not only one thing yes it's like under sharia law but using that is the same scare tactic as the right uses when they say it's like sharia law or they they use 1984. Right wingers love to use 1984 as soon as we talk about anything socialism, <laughs> right? Do we like it when they do that? Is 19 because there are similarities between socialism and 1984 when they pick a little thing that just looks a bit like 1984 to use that as a rhetorical grip against socialism? Is that fair? Do you think it is? That sounds no, like that's, that sounds like someone else's burden of proof, and that doesn't sound like it's my job to sound perfect to people who are completely disingenuous in the first place. It's not a matter of me being better than them. I don't have to be better or worse because that's a totally um, um, subjective way of looking at things. If something lines up in a column, I get to call it that column. That's just that's just the rules. And Tons of Mice said it perfectly. It's Chris Gia law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's the rule by religion. Yeah. By that also means theocratic that dogma. Not, I'm not just talking about reproductive rights when some, I'm also talking about LGBTQ plus rights are being taken away, poor people's rights are being taken away, um, children. You know, it, these are these are it's it's not just what we're looking at, right? It's, that it's anti science. Anti democracy. This is a this is Texas is just that little, you know. We're this is just the the current news of the day is Texas doing all this. 
Tomorrow yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be another state. They tried and it. Then... They tried this four years ago, almost to the day. Yeah, uh, I know, and Alabama did it too. Okay, uh, fuck you as well, right? Yeah, uh, Mississippi. Um, yeah, uh, Mississippi. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mississippi. Good luck finding any sort of you know uh, abortion provided or any kind of reproductive health rights there. You're not gonna find it. Alabama, uh, you're not gonna find it. What's up, Wayne? Uh, uh, I had to um, take myself away from this conversation. Um, um, okay. Right. Because there's been one one time uh, with my 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 ex, and one time with with. Um, Carrie, that we've we've had to have this conversation, mm-hmm. and um, I I look at I look at Florence, I look at ZR, and um, I'm totally made up with them. And to to trivialize abortion, it, it ain't just you don't just do it. Right. It's not. It's, it's not mm-hmm. straight at the fuck. It's not straight at the shop. Mm-hmm. When I'm when I'm when I'm sat there looking at looking at the, the love of my life and. I'm looking at her in the eyes, and, I'm sat, and she's asking me, "Are we doing the right thing?" And then tomorrow morning, I will, I, I, I wake up with Sienna and Florence. It's, it's fucking. It's not a fucking silly thing. No. Do, do you know? What, carry on, carry on. No. This conversation's really fucked me up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, of course. There, uh, I, we have said this many, many a time on this that this is this is a decision that that woman needs to make, and she cannot allow anybody else to make that for her. Right. Not the law. The law has no right. Not the neighbor. The neighbor has no right. And I would absolutely never, ever say that this is something that's easy. I I get angry when people are so cavalier about being anti-choice and saying how it's just birth control and it's not. It's really not. It's a decision that a woman has made. That's why I'm pro choice. It's a choice. And if your choice does not involve another life then you have the right not to take that forward and it's nobody else's business and when you when you shut down that access you're making it difficult for people who actually need to have that choice to provide them with that service of course when you Mikey, when you said that in, in Missouri they shut down all the Planned Parenthood, that doesn't mean that they shut down all of the hospitals that provide abortion, provide that service. The people with health insurance, the wealthy people, they're still going to go out there. Right. They're still going to get those those doctors to perform that. It's the it's the poor people, it's the young people, it's um, uh, immigrants. Um, we're going. It, it, this is this is something that is so so convoluted that Texas is is creating this environment that is going to end up harming more people than they're expecting to save. This is going to be horrendous. Yes, let's do the mid roll. Give these. Give my give my 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 friends a little time to 
we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick two minute pause. We'll be right back. Perfect. Go. Our mic sounds nice. Check one. Somebody say something. 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 You guys are such you know, you know, uh, just always what? listen to something. Dude, say something. We're going to listen of course to. you literally all said something in unison. Yeah. And Wayne's needed. <laughs> Cause you stopped letting him talk. I didn't do it. <laughs> Was me either. Listen, I'm did you mute yourself, Wayne? Yeah, mate. He's muted again. Did you unplug your mic? No. No, Wayne. No, can I mute your guest? The mic is not connected. Oh, you there. unplugged it. Oh, hello. I didn't, I, there we go. Okay. Nothing. No, nothing <laughs> has changed. <laughs> nothing has changed. You oh, absolutely not. Did, did, you didn't install Facebook or anything? Okay. Oh, oh, fuck off. Get this squared away. Who, who is this beautiful angel? Her name is Leaf Floor McGillicuddy. Leaf Floor, tell them what they've won. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Could you get rid of these wankers over there? <laughs> like, Bre nice. Brenna, I would quite happily come no, over. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got pushed to the colored oh. section, Wayne. <laughs> Back of the bus. <laughs> Back. Get away from me. Anyway, hi everybody. Um, sorry. Hmm. This is this is my life right now. Um. All right. All right, doggy, fuck off. What's that, Lassie? You want him to go to Patreon. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll do a little bit of shouting. So, um, Let it all out. Here, here's, here's some of the cheap ways that you could help us out, please. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to either you guys mute yourselves or I'm going to mute you I guys. was choking, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. This is not, let, this is for me. Let, let, okay. Let me check that anyway. Okay. So, um, the cheap and easy way in order to help us is to like us, subscribe to us on Twitch, um, as well as uh, YouTube. So, YouTube, if you're not familiar with the process for this, on Twitch, we do it live on Thursdays. And then uh, we premiere it the next day on Friday um, on YouTube. So please, if you are hearing this um, on a, uh, on the Friday, make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, uh, share, uh, comment, ring ring that little the little bell that notifies you when our when our streams are going up. You can find us on audio. On... Ring my bell. Sorry. My bell, my bell, my bell. Ring a ling a ling. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help it. Mikey, somebody started to steal your mini. I heard it start up and drive away. Oh. <laughs> Get it. Anyway. It's more petrol um, to the gallon to the mile. So. Than <laughs> okay. Okay. Brenna, Br Brenna, please continue. Thank you, Wayne. See, Wayne's a gentleman. Um, Which Wayne? Anyway. <laughs> the, the Wayne we know and love. Oh. Yeah. The the one that owns a, a, a property. Oh, the Lord. <laughs> the Lord. The Lord Wanker of Exit. Anyway, um, if you are in a financial situation in order to help us, please go to patreon.com slash the bin podcast, become one of our patrons. There are some behind the paywall Ooh. so that uh, if you if you want to, um, the only way to access that is to become a patron and uh, you'll be able to see um, lots of lots of drunk people and I'm not saying whom, I'm not saying what we do. Definitely I mean, not drunk Brenna. <laughs> I don't understand it. In a uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't drink. 
What did you say? I don't think. Anyway, I, only, no, 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 spring you, light. you no. just chuck stones there and fucking ice. Yeah, yeah, we said you we said you you were gone because you were on rink maintenance. That's why you had your broom out there. You just, Would you like me to tell you what's going what what why I wasn't here? Cuz you were you were sweeping the rink. I I was so what I was doing is we had Curling Night in America being filmed at our rink um here in Irvine where we actually play on. Oh, and boom. And no, it's Irvine. Um, no, it's Irvine. There's an E at the end. Irvine. Not a U or a whatever you go. A bunch of unnecessary lowercase U's. We we're very efficient in our our, our lettering. Speaking, anyway, speaking, um, speaking to um Scottish um people that live in Irvine, Scotland, it's Irvine. Oh, it's Irvine. Anyway. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I was... They, they invented it. Shut up, you. <laughs> Muted. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> all right, I am you. I'm not, I'm I not love, that I love you. Anyway, um, I would like to tell you what I was doing last Will week. you tell us already? Around. I can't. You guys won't shut up. No, no. See, like this is what I have to deal with. Please, go to patreon.com and make them stop. We don't. Um, anyway, we don't know how to shut up. We're sorry. Anyway, um, I was helping out. I ended up getting uh, roped into helping up the ice crew, uh, which Ooh. the head ice technician for U.S. Curling um, really liked me, and we had some. I Ooh. learned a lot, Ooh. and I. Ooh, and hey, what's his what, name? Or her? And anyway. Um, they're coming back in October because we have the U.S. Olympic trials for the mixed doubles, and they're going to be a oh, the the mixed time. doubles. Mm. A couple of uh, biracial blokes out there. So, so Brenna, why can't you're pretty good though, right? Why can't you try out for the Olympics? Because you have to. You actually have to try out in competitions. Um, you have to do a series of competitions in order to win certain competitions. And so, so, so why, why, why aren't you doing that? Yeah. I'm not that good, by the way. Hmm. I don't play on really nice competitive ice, but I did. I got to test out the competitive ice, and it was spectacular. I think you could win. No. What, 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 is, what is competitive ice? <laughs> is it like the lines are further away or closer or something? <laughs> Like what? Um, makes, what's the? What's it like? <laughs> like regulation football versus like backyard? Like like what? Are, what do you mean by competitive? Um. Well, the first thing is that you don't use a zamboni in order to. Um, oh, them fucking the zambonis! Yeah, fucking they're, zambonis! They're um, the amount of time and energy that goes into competitive ice is um, amazing. Where you have to. Flood. You have to do temperature control. Oh. You have to do pebbling and scraping and oh, whoa, 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 stop! What yeah. the fuck is pebbling? Again, we have a rule here on the show. You can't just make up words. <laughs> um. Every now and then, no. every now and then, a vowel. <laughs> maybe you should find a curling club and learn how to do it. Oh, oh whoa! Shots fired. Not yeah, if you're going to be asking me to be doing made up things like pebbling. Yeah, well, <laughs> what can I do? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to find a curling club by me and be better than you. Yeah, let's yeah. all learn how to curl so we can just dominate her in the semi regional yeah. finals. <laughs> and then every, every Thursday, I'd be like this. I yeah. don't compete, by the way. <laughs> what do you got? I don't compete. Can we make our? I, uh, can the four of us make a curling team? Can we qualify if we all like showed up together? On um, can we sign up on the sheet? There, there are there are four members of a team. Oh come Mark, on! So if you can count, Mark, Marky, 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 I've got a steam broom there. Fuck the actual all this caper. Nah, fuck it. I've got a steam broom. 
So yeah. this is guys out there, out there in the stream, the stream world. Um, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> so I tried to start the bin podcast curling team and you told me, get out of here. Okay, fine. Brenda doesn't want to be on the bin team. She wants to stay with her team. She doesn't want to play we're with in, us. We're in four different time zones, for fuck's sake. So pre- we'll have to practice remotely. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of Skype curling app that we can you download. download. No, 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 seriously. So how is that going to work? Like, you throw a stone and me, Brenna, and Wayne start sweeping in Sweden, <laughs> England, and California. And it doesn't work out that way. Bre- Brenna, can, Brenna can be Mickey. <laughs> no pain. No pain. No pain. Is it? What are my neighbors going to think? Like, <laughs> just out on a Friday yard. morning at 2 o'clock, I started sweeping the fucking ice outside me door in the middle of January. <laughs> But John says John says left the chicken. You know the you know what the craziest part would be is if it fucking worked. Like, <laughs> like I just have a camera set up to like watch the I watch the stone as it slides on ice. You guys are sitting there like with your headphones on, like fucking. No, 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 no. John says no. there was a GoPro. <laughs> I bought one of those for the cruise. <laughs> So we can record our adventures. Oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. Awesome. Yeah, your there's, adventures. All right. I, there's um, there's got to be some sort of curling game that we can play for a player. I'm just saying. There's 100%. There's a lot. I mean, or, I mean, there's not a lot, but there are a few yeah. curling, uh, usually yeah. on the Wii. Like, just, 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 just is, um insinuated that he needs to go. No, 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 no. I, I, um, I do have to go in just a little bit. But yeah, yeah we have to go. get the switches as well. But uh, I do have to correct myself from last week. Uh oh. Okay. Um, oh right, right. Can we, can we, um, um, Mikey? Can you record this, please? I'll record it separately. We have yeah. been online for a bit. We need, we need this recorded. Tons of ice at the ready. Tons of ice. Where are you? Wow. Uh, so, yeah, uh, last week, uh, I said, uh, something that was legitimately incorrect. I said that when the Prime Minister of Sweden resigns, uh, as the party leader in November, that the subsequent, uh, party leader would automatically become the Prime Minister. This is not true. I got that wrong. Uh, Who does? the whole thing with, what? Who does? So then we have to go into uh, Speaker of the House uh, talks again. So every major party leader who actually has a chance of getting a parliamentary majority, a majority in Parliament, gets called into the Speaker of the House to try to get a majority in Parliament for his government. And it would be elected that way, the same way that we did after he, the guy who's now resigning got booted out of office the way that we did it then. We have to do that again in November when he decides to resign. So, yeah. We have to do all that again. Oh my god. So, when, this was what? Jan- oh, not January. That was June, right? June? May. May. So, May, they say, we're going to get rid of him. And then he says... They- and then he says, fine, but you're going to have to reelect somebody. And then he ended up still winning that just for yeah, him so to say that he's resigning. And now they have to wait until when to do, to do it all over again? Yeah. Oh. November. So, so he, here's what happened. So he got voted. Uh, he lost majority in parliament, which means that he can no longer hold the position of prime minister. Uh, because one of the supporting parties went against him. So there was a vote of no confidence. The majority of parliament voted him out of office. Brenna did that. Uh, yeah. The role play. Uh, that was Brenna. Yeah, in the role play. Brenna did that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thanks, and then... <laughs> but then <laughs> really nobody sweet. else... Yeah, but then nobody else could get a majority. So, you know, we, so we gave him back the seat. 
Yeah, he just had to make some concessions and some alliances, so on and so forth, right? And he got back into power after, you know, about two weeks or three weeks. Now, he has he has said that he'd resign, and when he resigns, we have to do that all over again. Uh, mm-hmm. he, um, he, he basically won, won it and went, do you know what? I can't be asked. It can't be. Fuck it. It sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to do it anymore. You're all right. I'm over it. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm over it. <laughs> I, I think that... He, the whole he, he, he looked at his opponents and went, yes, I told you, fuck mm-hmm. you. <laughs> so I think that the whole boat and no confidence, of course, it, it played a role, right? It must mm. be fucking hard to get that, you know, slap in the face. But at the same time, it's like, there's an election next year. Why couldn't you just stick with it? So during the last, what's left of your tenure, that you could just sit there so we have an actual working government mm. during the pandemic that we're in the middle of. Like, Come is, on. is 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 he your um preferred leader or do you want someone else? Uh, he's the leader of the party that is my preferred party. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I could think of at least two or three other people that I would rather see as prime minister, but he's the leader of the party that I'm voting for. So I'm a sock down. Our hearts, uh, even though mm. I think that the Sockdams have lost their way. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I got it wrong, and I apologize for misinforming you. I hope that you... Uh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, this no. is like everyone, everyone's apologizing for being wrong. Yeah, I, I apologize for not eating breakfast and totally <laughs> fucking up my first, <laughs> my first fucking... Uh, <laughs> Venture into fitness, in which I almost died. <laughs> it was... No, but to be, to be to be fair, saying that you're wrong and you don't know is the most purest form of like democracy. I don't know. Should we change the name of know. the show? At episode one hundred, I'm changing the name of the show to the I Don't Know podcast. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. IDK, check us out. Yeah. Or should it be or will and then for the uh the, the Brits, it'll just be called Dunno. Dunno. Mm. And then <laughs> and then for all of our and then for all of are our you, Midwesterners uh, uh, like I ain't got the fog yet. Are you are you mugging me off? And then for Brenna it would be like like I don't know. Yeah, no. Like I don't yeah, know. No. Oh, what would it be for oh. me? Just go uh, to Netflix. <laughs> just go to Netflix. Watch the show, The Norseman. You'll have a laugh of it. And maybe you'll understand. <laughs> but my English is not bad as you think it is. Uh, on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching. Wait, 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 one more. We got one more. We got one more thing. Do you have to dip, Jartan? Because we got one more thing. All right, let's do the last thing, and then I have to dip. Okay. Okay. bring us the last thing, please. All right. Um. What base deliciousness? Anyway. Uh, let me let me see if I can get this. Up a little bit uh, easier to see, Dang but um, what the fuck? Is this? Pause. <laughs> there we go. And why did uh, and okay? I'm gonna send okay. you 20 quid, Wayne, so you can buy that shirt. It should be on our store soon. <laughs> is what it is. You're just wasting time right now, so I can uh, wait. Sorry, mom. Okay. Uh, appointment cancellation notice. I have just learned of this testing request, and as the owner of this business, I am going to refuse this booking and deny service. Mm-hmm. We cannot support anyone who has proactively worked to make the, this pandemic worse by spreading misinformation, mm-hmm. politicizing, and discouraging the wearing of masks and, absolute, uh, and actively disso- 
dissuading people from receiving life-saving vaccinations. Mm. Um, blah de blah de blah. Goody um, goody. So this is the appointment cancellation for uh, testing huh? from where Candace Owen, oh, as oh. we we know and love. She's as, as, an we, actual as we cunt. know a lot. No, 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 no. She's an actual cunt. Candace right, yeah. Owen right, is right, an actual right, cunt. Right, good. Right, okay. Right. Um, I don't know who she is. So she was refused a, a COVID test um, from a private testing facility. So not public, but private testing facility. She was, um, their appointment was canceled and she was encouraged to seek other. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> if, if you all, if you all know Candace Owen, she is has has probably been one of those uh, individuals in, in in the Fox News um, circle to basically deny the existence of COVID, and now she put put her that. in a minefield and say, "Hey, hey, hey, on the internet, streaming live, no threats of violence towards anyone. That's not what we do here. We only mock them. We we and I will I will Fuck actually you, mock her, but um, I I." personally find this rather like her comeuppance like they she the the testing facility has the right to deny appointment it is private it is not publicly um owned um there are other options in which that she could get her test and they um sent a letter saying uh you a liar and uh we don't really want to deal with you it's okay <laughs> On that bomb, on that bombshell. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to the studio, but you need to listen to me now, uh, because I've set this, all right? Set them straight, I've Hammond. Set yeah, Go I've on. set this, and I've set it a hundred times. If you deny the existence of COVID, or if you deny anything that the doctors say, you forfeit your right to seek medical attention. Wait a second. Is our friend like agreeing with, with me? Yes. I am. Oh my god! I, I, I yes. think he is. No um, argument. No argument. Thank you everybody. Argument. I have succeeded. This is what I Back to the studio. <laughs> this is what Dr. Emma said when she was on the show. If you don't listen to doctors, you forfeit your right to seek out doctors whenever you feel it appropriate. So, Fuck Candice Owens. I don't know who you are, but you seem like an awful fucking person. She, she, she's a cunt. She's I'm a nice. cunt. She, yeah. So, she's so this is so this is the first time that I also am going to disagree with Doctor Emma, uh, with wow. Brenna and Jartan. You're wow. all three. All three of you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. You don't. You don't. You don't. I am literally holding on to the side. <laughs> you do not this is win. Crazy. You don't win any moral victories by not testing her for COVID. <laughs> I don't want to win a moral victory. Then I fucking just test her and do. send her on her way. No, 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 no. Just, just, just a... shoot, just shoot her. Just shoot her. No, Wayne, stop well, it. Bro, well, we're you not can't doing that. Say that on the internet. No, 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 no. Shoot um, her with a camera. We, 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 no, no, we, we have a love gun. What, what, what is you, Mikey? What is you? Just, <laughs> you just named your penis a love gun. Like gross. what the fuck, dude? Like all right. gross. Christ. Now the sexual harassment. Yes. Get our lawyers so on you, the line. <laughs> you just made it worse. Yeah. Um, Brenna, 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 violence, Brenna, stop. Brenna, stop looking. Stop right. looking. We are not gonna have this argument because we have had this argument, and I know that Mikey does not agree, and I'm not looking for moral victory here. The point is kind that of you cannot, no, you cannot choose when to listen to science when it's suitable to you. You either listen, oh, Jesus Christ, I can't. Wayne, Wayne sit down. <laughs> sit down. We're you almost done. You, you can't choose to listen to it when it's convenient for you, and then not listen to it when it's inconvenient for everybody else. That sounds like so, a great idea. Can you please cite that in the rule book? Pick and choose. Pick and choose. Yes. And that's why I've been uh, been advocating all along. 
if you don't listen to the doctors when it comes to COVID or vaccines, you can't go to a doctor when you break your leg. But this is this is a thing because that's been going around. Are, according to your Google history, doctors are wrong. Twelve years in school don't mean shit because mm-hmm. you have Google. Yes, but so you're trying to you. fight a virus. You're not trying to prove people wrong. You're right fighting, which is what this is. That's right fighting. You're fighting to be right, even if it's detrimental to the people who are involved in the argument. It doesn't matter if she's wrong. Test her. She needs nope. to know if she has fucking COVID. So you're not going to test her. She can go somewhere else. Okay, and what if you piss her off because you won't see her, and then she doesn't get tested? Test all the people. Nope. Test. Who cares if you don't like her? Test. And, she, and it's a private place anyway, so she's probably going to have to pay. Take her fucking money. Slap her fucking results in her face and send her out the door and call her a fucking cunt like Wayne did 80 times. But don't not test her. I really did. Don't not test her because what if she... Why is that she hot? What if she, what if she has COVID and you guys don't test her? But is that their responsibility? If she comes in asking for a test and you say, I'm not going to give you a test because I don't like you. Well, no, good no, no. job. The virus doesn't care about your interrelationships with people. All right. So, 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 so here's your deal, right? You're saying that if she tests positive for for COVID, which she has denied the existence of in the first place, right? Yes. Then she will adhere to the rules that positive COVID tests would imply, right? Wow. What? But a... she has denied. No, no, no. So, so. If you're saying that, well, we should test her so that she won't go into, you know, Tesco's or Walmart or wherever the fuck you, without a mask or go there at all. But she has denied the existence of COVID, right? So you are saying that because she got a positive test result, all of a sudden she will change her mind on everything else that she's been wrong on. That's that's and li- that therefore is- adhere to the rules that she has told everybody else not to adhere to just because mm-hmm. you got positive. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is, and I just, I just, and I, no, no, wait. And on the test we'll that she up. also says mm-hmm. does not work. They are incorrect. That is literally the fucking Republican playbook. Nothing is real. Everything is a lie until it happens to them. And then they flip the script and everybody mm-hmm. should be getting tested and we got to get vaccines out. It always flips. When it happens to them, she'll never know if it happens to her if you just send her out the door and say, oh, fuck off, fucking conservative. No, test her. You have to think medicine. You can't think politics. This is what politicizing vaccines and, and dare I say it, politicizing testing turns us into. We can't let her walk around not knowing whether or not she's carrying the virus. That's stupid. That's irresponsible. Fucking swab her up the nose, fucking get a couple of nose hairs out on the way out, and then fucking send her on her way. She doesn't care if she's right or wrong, she's doing it for money. But at least inform her that maybe what tiny shred of a moral fucking conscience she has left. And then Wayne's muted and just going on and on. Um, That's fine. uh, If you might appeal to that little piece of morality, that shred that she has left. If she knows she has a disease that, according to her previous Twitter post, which is all clickbait, she claimed doesn't exist, well, she might act a little bit differently when she fucking starts having respiratory issues and her fucking body hurts and all this shit. That, that, they, they never treat anything like it's a problem beforehand. They always wait till it's their daughter. Just, I forget what the, um, the, the, what the congressman was. He was so anti-fucking, um, anti-fucking gay marriage and Ah, uh, they should all burn in hell, blah, blah, blah. and then his fucking daughter was gay, and then like I'm talking like three months, she was singing a new tune. They never ever run the thought equation through their head before they talk. They just talk. So let's keep everybody safe and test everyone. I don't care if it's Candace Owens. I don't even care. I don't care if it's Donald fucking Trump. If Donald Trump comes in with his hydrochloroquine fucking weird fucking tattooed. Or tattooed, his fucking tanned, fucking Cheeto ass. If he walks in, give him a test too. If he asks for one, test everyone. End rant. Ugh. 
Sons of Mike says, nose hairs equal souvenirs. Well, um, I think that we can wrap that up uh, by saying we disagree. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let, let's do that. Let's let's end this. We all said what we're going to do. We're not going to, you know, try to convince each other. We're not trying to be an echo chamber here. Mike is wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm right. That's Brandon right. is right. And, you know, that's the way it is. So. Yeah. Well, we how all knew this? that already. How about this? If you are if you are listening to us and watching us live, by all means, leave a comment. Um, let us know what you think on Twitter at Ben Podcast. Um, maybe we'll put up a poll or something to say who do you agree with, um, Team Jartan or Team Mikey, on whether it's moral. Do we call it Team Breno? I got a bigger way of winning something if we call it Tim Brown. No, I ain't like I ain't like you no, you can't just use the no, pretty girl no. to win all your fucking arguments. No, nice try, no. buddy. I like how Wayne's muted and he doesn't even know. It's fine. We're almost done. <laughs> um, but then We're if almost you, home. We're but if home. you were watching this on yeah. YouTube on Friday night, by all means leave it in the comment section. Let us know who wins the argument. Um if you have any articles you want to drop in there, we're gonna go back and read all mm -hmm. that stuff. Um but for Jartan Brenna, the Wayne Maker, and me, the Internet's Rascal, Mikey Salmon. This has been the Bin Podcast, episode 82? 82. 82. 82. Um, I guess every, so. every, every, Everyone back Brenna, because uh, Jartan talking shit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> And fuck Owens. Candace Owens. <laughs> fuck Candace Owens. Let's, let's end on that. He's found a new target. Oh. Meanwhile. It's, 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 Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Got up by VH. Oh. Stop fucking smoking that thing.